And welcome to the Recipe Rebellion. I'm your culinary rebel priestess, Rachel Lavoni, and I kick those cookbooks to the curb and make you a confident cook by inviting you to unleash your unruly creativity in the kitchen by breaking the rules. I have a question for you. What if you could once and for good break up with ice cream? What if you could finally tell ice cream to kiss your ice cream because you don't need it anymore? Would you love it? Well, now you can totally break up with ice cream and it literally takes five minutes to make its replacement and has none of the crap that ice cream has in it. So shall we start the rebellion now? I think so. Let's get to it. Um, first, you should know the background for this ice cream cook concept that I have is that I was, of course, craving some ice cream, but I didn't want all the crap in it because I have a mood disorder. And sometimes when I engage with sugar, then the next day I pay for it by being down in the dumps and going back and forth and, forth and this and that. So I thought I wanted something that was nutritious, that was creamy and frozen and delicious, and also something that kids can have um, that's nutritious for them as well. So I came up with this concept. We're gonna start, I want you to take ripe bananas and I want you to chop them up and I want you to put them in the freezer, okay? I want you to grab blueberries, frozen blueberries or any frozen fruit. Grab coconut cream, grab some cinnamon or any other uh, spice that's to your fancy. And that's it, that's all that's in it, okay? Now, the trick is to make sure that your Banana and whatever fruit you're using, I've used raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, is completely frozen. They need to be super frozen. So, and here's the bananas that I pre-cut and pre-froze, and we're gonna put these into the Vitamix, into the blender. By the way, you guys know that this is uh, the third um, episode. I just got done doing part of Party Pusher Snack Series. And in the first uh, segment, I showed you how to make the Party Pusher popcorn, right? With all those unruly spices in them, like garlic and chili powder, even cayenne pepper, if you wish, right? And the second segment, I covered the caramel sauce without any sugar made from dates. And uh, we had some cashew butter in there with some coconut cream. It was so delicious. Um, so we had the caramel sauce in segment two. This one is the ice cream. So if you're getting ready to throw a party, these are the things that you need to make. Do you hear me? You need to make these things for your party. Got it? Okay. Because uh, who doesn't like popcorn, caramel sauce, and now ice cream, okay? So we got bananas in the blender, and I also have some frozen blueberries that I'm putting in. Got it? I may not put all of these in. This seems like a bit much. Whoop. So let's put some blueberries in there. And how many blueberries and how many bananas do you put in? Well, it's the same answer in my first two segments, which is however many you damn well please. And if you're unsure about it, the trick is to literally just try it out. I mean, why can't you just try new things out in the kitchen, right? That's how you build a culinary confidence. And that's how I did it. I'm a self-taught chef. And so I just started getting into the kitchen and being unruly and just adding a little bit of this and add a little bit of that. And that's what I want you to do in your life. And the reason is, is because when you're tired and you're coming home from work, who wants to open up a cookbook, write down an ingredients list, get your ass down to the grocery store and do all this grocery shopping and then come home. Nobody wants to do that. So I want you guys to have confidence in the kitchen and to be able to make whatever it is that you want for dinner, for dessert, for snacks, or whatever it is, okay? That's the point of the recipe rebellion. Now, what do we like about ice cream? We love fat. There's a study um, on our brain that says um, when you combine a fat with a sugar molecule, like an ice cream, 
there's n these, these neuro connections that happen in our brain that literally is like a dance party. And it's like, woo, 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 yeah, give me some more of that. <laughs> That's literally what happens in your brain. And this is why ice cream is so damn addictive. Okay, so uh, the fat that I'm using to um, help with that craving for you is coconut cream, okay? Not coconut milk, coconut milk is a little bit uh, too thin. So we're gonna take cream and I want you to skim off the creamy delicious part and put it in there. Now I already used some of it for the caramel sauce in the previous uh, segment. So I think there's a little bit Left. You don't want to add too much, um, but if you do, it's okay because then you just have a smoothie, which is fine, right? But you do want to actually keep it thick because if you have a good blender like a Vitamix or um, I also like a Nutribullet, uh, although I'm not a gadget girl, as you know from the other um, segments, then it will blend it, okay? I promise. All right, so we're going to get this rocking and rolling. Turn it down. You want to start at a low pace, right? It's like a marathon, right? You want to start at a low, play, low pace, and then you want to work your way up, pushing it down. And what it's doing is blending all those bananas, and the bananas are so sweet, it's going to give you all of this amazing sweetness. Now, um, my kids at home love this, especially my, se my stepson Kyler loves to make his own ice cream this way, except he makes it without the coconut cream. He actually puts milk instead of the coconut cream. So your kids can make it exactly how they want to. And, and let me just tell you that he is like a candy, loves sugar, loves ice cream kind of kid. And so for him to eat this is like all off the hook. Right, and he makes it really good too. I've had it. He was gonna be here today, but he, he felt a little under the weather. weather. So um, we're sure he's home uh, well behaved and just reading a book probably, cuddled up. <laughs> Not really, he's probably playing Fortnite. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna turn it up a little bit. So if you want it even sweeter than this, you can add the dates uh, that we made, the caramel sauce that we made in the segment before. But let me just show you what it's doing so far. Let me just show you. Are we get, can we get a can we get a close up on that action? Huh? All right. Now some people like their ice cream with like a little bit of chunk in it. Some people like it super creamy. I like it more creamy. So we're gonna go ahead and blend it. Uh, a little bit more and then you are going to um, share with me what kind of fruit you would like to add in your version of the ice cream that you would want to make by you can use hashtag recipe rebellion all right so I also make this ice cream for dinner parties prompt to dinner parties uh, I usually the bananas usually take about Oh, about an hour, an hour and a half to freeze. So as long as you get them in the freezer before then, you can make it for even last minute dinner guests that stop by. All right. This would be the time where I'd love some like music, like, you know, Billy Idol, Rebel Yell, you know, to dance to, but I think there's copyright rules on that that need to be broken. Yes. By the way, did you guys know that I'm actually a uh, karaoke winner? I'm a, I was a third place winner, a live band karaoke. This is, this is in the Northwest. This is a true story. Uh, Pat Benatar is my uh, song of choice. So I like to do it in the kitchen sometimes and sing. Of course, then I like to call it a uh, uh, cook a <laughs> Oh, I'm so clever. <laughs> Oh God, you had to be there. Okay, uh, so I think it's to the consistency that I like. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. You are going to die. When you see this, you're going to die. Did I forget to put the cinnamon in it? Okay, 
not to worry. Did I put cinnamon in it? Oh, we need to put cinnamon in it. Okay, it was supposed to be during it, but not to worry. We're just gonna add it last minute because we're in the rebellion kitchen, right? You can do it whenever you damn well please. I'm just gonna mix it up. And then we're gonna add some in a bowl. This is what you're gonna do for your dinner guests. And they're going to like love you. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's so amazing. It's so creamy. It's so delicious. I'm getting chills right now. I'm gonna try it for you so you can actually taste it through me. Right here. Oh, let's put a couple of uh, whole blueberries just to finish it off. Oh, look at that. And also, what I would also do is make um, some coconut cream whipped cream sometimes to put on. But sometimes I'll just take a little bit of the coconut cream this one's a little bit more milky, and I would just put it over the top. Yum. How amazing does that look? All right, let's try it now. Oh my God, this is so amazing. You guys have to try this. It's so like creamy and sweet, no sugar, no dairy. Totally make it how you would make it for yourself at home and for your family at home. Mm. All right. Well, that's it for us today. And that completes our series of party, party pusher snacks. Remember, we made the party pusher popcorn in the first one, the refined sugar-free caramel sauce, and then now the ice cream. Catch all three of these episodes, like them, subscribe them, love them, stock the recipe rebellion and I invite you to hop into your own kitchen and rebel against all of these concepts that I've shown you today because I want you to make it your own version that fits your life and be sure to share what you're making on my website recipe rebellion I'm your culinary rebel priestess Rachel Lavoni wishing you the courage to unleash your confident creative side in the kitchen Thanks for joining the Recipe Rebellion today, and I will see you guys next time.